different vehicles are equipped with different dual mass flywheels. These are configured to match the vehicle and not the engine. Depending on the design, the flywheels make noises and the tilting tolerance varies. Even new dual mass flywheels make noises. Tilting tolerance is normal and not cause for complaint. If a customer does complain, carry out a visual inspection. Small hotspots on the friction surface or minor thermal discolorations are absolutely okay, provided that they are not more than 10 millimeters away from the bearing. However, if the blue discolorations have reached the bearing, then the dual mass flywheel needs to be replaced. The same also applies for rust. Increased grease leakage. A defective sliding bearing. A defective guide bearing. Corrugations, scratches or cracks. and melting on the friction surface. In all of these cases, you have to replace the dual mass flywheel. If no damage that requires replacement of the flywheel is found during the visual inspection, measure the torsional backlash. To do this, rotate the dual mass flywheel anti-clockwise on the positioning pin until it reaches the stop and then release it. Mark the position of the secondary part in relation to the primary part. Then rotate the dual mass flywheel clockwise until the resistance and release it again. Determine the torsional backlash. Check this against the specifications in the current repair manual. To clarify, here are the completely normal noises caused by the movement of a dual mass flywheel. These noises are generated by the centrifugal pendulum and are especially audible when starting and stopping the engine. These are not a problem and no reason for complaint.